percent composition of the compound, the listing of each element, um, and each element is calculated as the mass of the element divided by the mass of the compound times 100 percent. So the percent composition should add up to 100 percent for the total compound. It's uh, useful for a variety of reasons. One reason is a farmer needs to add um, several nutrients to their fields. By testing the soil, they can figure out how much they need. Then they need to know how much is in the compound that they're adding to the soil. So the percent composition allows them to decide how much of the compound to add to the soil. So to do this, we're going to need the mass of each element and the total mass of the compound. So for our potassium sulfate here, we're going to calculate the uh, molar mass of the compound and individual mass of the elements along the way. So we're going to add up uh, two potassiums. So our potassium got two times 39.10 plus our sulfur, which is 32.07 plus our oxygen, which is 4 times 16.00. This all comes out to be 174.27 grams per mole. Uh, the potassium itself is a 78.20, sulfur 32.07, and oxygen is 64.00. So for the four elements, our potassium is going to be 78.27 divided by the 174.27. Oops, that's not a 27. Zero. Okay, that looks better. This times 100% equals 44.9% potassium. Our sulfur is 32.07 divided by 174.27. Times 100 percent equals a 18.4 percent. And for oxygen, it's 64 divided by the 174.27 times 100 percent is. Um, 36.7%. And this last one could have been gotten a separate way because all the percents add up to 100%. So we could have gone 100% minus 44.9% minus 18.4%, which would have given us the same 36. Seven percent oxygen. So let's do this for the ammonium iodide. So we're doing our nitrogen fourteen point zero one plus hydrogen four times one point zero zero eight plus our I died um, 126.90. This all comes out to 144.94. And the hydrogen is a uh, 4.03 altogether. So then our nitrogen. 14.01 over 144.94 times 100 percent 
equals a 9.7% hydrogen, 0.03 over 144.94 times 100% is a 2.8%. And the iodine 126.9 divided by the 144.94 times 100 percent equals 87.6 percent. And another check we can do to make sure we're in the right ballpark. So I calculated the um, auction by difference. The other check is to add these up. When we add these up, we end up with a 100.1%. So I treated my uh, decimal place, first decimal place as my uh, fast digit, so or my significant digit, so that's where we have a little bit of error. If I carried this to a second decimal place, we would have a smaller error on that, um, possibly going down to a zero. zero difference from 100%.